Welcome to BYT, back again with another video. Today we are going to be doing work on my new garage in my new house, uh, but the final step that we need to do before starting to film videos out in the garage and filming the wide body install is getting proper lighting out in the garage because lighting is very important to me. If we have crappy lighting out there, you guys aren't going to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing and it's just not going to be good for anybody all around. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Pops generously gave me some lights that we used previously in his garage. So I'm going to be hanging those up uh, out in my own garage, which is pretty sick. Um, it is a rental, so we're, we're going to try to work around that as best we can. Do as little holes as possible. What is Bailey doing? Ooh, working on another art piece. Look at you go, another commission piece. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got Moose. What's up, Moose? He hates the camera. And we're watching Coda for the weekend. Hi, Coda. Hi, Coda. Yeah, so uh, we won't bug her. She's working on her art. Now out to the garage. All right, here's what we got right now. So out in the garage, there are two little light bulbs. Boop, boop. So I mean, like, it's I, but like, imagine me doing like the wide body install, like, see anything. So what I first did was this setup. It looks very janky. I know I'm trying to just do as little holes as possible so most of the wires are zip tied. And I ran it down the wall to this outlet. And that's what I initially was gonna do. So I've been kind of like in the middle of this project, sort of, but I hated how um, this section of the lights turned out. I mean, they worked really well. So I have this little switch here that turns on the lights and I get really good lighting. So I really like that setup. So I'm gonna do three lights over there and more lights back here, but I don't like um, how that looks and then the cord running to the wall and then the cord running down the wall. So like an idiot, like when I finished this, I looked over right above where the garage door opener is and there's an open outlet on the ceiling. So I got one of these three outlets, so it's a three to one. So it goes into one outlet, splices it out into three, or separates it out into three lights. And so what I'm gonna do is instead of plugging them in to the outlets and having the extension cord run up the wall and then doing that whole zip tie mess, we're gonna do three lights there, three lights over there, and however many more back here that we can fit and they're all going to go into this outlet up there. But that outlet up there isn't on a switch. So I got this handy dandy little Wi-Fi outlet, which also has a switch on the side. But if that's on the roof, I'm not going to be able to see. So you can turn it on and off with the switch. But it also connects to my phone via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or something. I don't know. Get a little app. So that'll plug in. And then the three-prong light adapter will plug in. And then we'll have all the lights set up and we'll have really good lighting out here in the garage. What we're going to do is leave these lights up. We're going to undo this and then we're going to set up our plug there, get all the other lights hung and then run all the wires in. I'll stop blabbing, get these lights hung up so we can do the wide body this week. So hyped on it guys. I've, I know six months is way too long to just sit and stare at this kit and leave it as a roof ornament in my garage. It is finally time to get this mounted. So let's finish up this lighting so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Let's get it done. You know it's super dark? <laughs> That's the whole purpose of this video. But I got all my janky zip ties and wiring down so then we can reroute it over to our plug up there. Also, shouts out to the green screen ladder. It's doing great. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix it in post. Before I did anything and like finished the whole project and found out that that outlet didn't work, I ran a little extension cord to my first light Plugged it in, made sure the switch work. We're good to go. Let's finish this up. For anyone that has seen the really nice lighting install video that we did in Pop's garage, 
we initially started the video using table ladders, so if anybody's to blame for my uh, OSHA violations, it's Pops. So, shout out Pops. <laughs> That's the lighting that was in here, and this is why I wanted to do this so bad before I started, you know, showing you guys the install on the wide body and everything because this is already a thousand times better and we're not even done. Much brighter this is gonna be, like working on the wide body, kit on, you guys will be able to actually see what I'm doing. Super psyched on that. And I love how easy the app is to use. It's just the tap of a button and they turn on and off. I have two of the tube lights left. And so I ran over to Ace Hardware, the brand new one that just opened up right down the street, which is really awesome. And I grabbed one of these. It's basically the same thing, just a little bit longer and has two of them in there. So we'll do these two tube lights on either side and then we'll do this one in the middle of the back of the garage. So we'll have four lights coming down the back of the garage, um, which should be plenty of light. So you can already see how much light is coming off just from those six up there. We're just gonna hang up these last three lights. Then we can manage all the wires and everything and get it all finished up. These two hung up, I'm pretty happy with them. We're just gonna do this last two bar one that I just picked up right in the middle. <laughs> just make it look like it did before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, so I'd be like wide body and you guys would be like, sorry, what? I can't see shit. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Crazy. Wild. Yeah, so this gives me so much more light. Uh, and it's gonna make, wow, yeah, huge difference. Now time to deal with all of my hanging wires. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get my giant thing of zip ties out and then go to work. <laughs> Let's finish this up, guys. It's looking sick. I mean, you're not really gonna be staring at the ceiling unless you're looking for that. So, cleanest I can do without doing any wire cutting or other things like running wires through the ceiling. It is a rental at the end of the day, so the only holes that I've put in the roof are the ones that I drilled in to put the chains in. So, time to do the rest. I don't think I'm gonna make you guys sit through just me zip tying, so. I'll let you guys know when it gets done. All right, guys, we got the lights finished up. It looks so much better out here, so much brighter. We can actually like see what we're working on, actually see the car. We've just got this banner that we gotta throw up on the wall, and I'm working on doing the Hot Wheels right now, but here's all the lighting. Don't look too close to the wiring. You know, I did the best that I could. You know, I'm not trying to modify a rental or anything, and change outlets to, you know, all that stuff. So this is just kind of DIY temporary uh, since I don't own the place, but it's a whole lot better than the two dome lights that were in there where you could barely see anything. So now I'm ready to, you know, full steam ahead, get working on the car, share everything with you guys and you can actually see it. And here's the outlet working. So just a little app on my phone, one click, turns the light on and off, which is pretty sick. And I can also connect that to Google Home or Amazon Alexa if I want to. Um, but right now, just gonna finish up this video, getting all the Hot Wheels collection hung up. Got all these Hot Wheels to hang up and I already started the two rows over here, kind of getting it where I wanted to because 
As much as I love this shelf holding all my tools, I do eventually want to get like an actual toolbox. But just focusing on the necessities right now. So using the hand-me-down shelf right now is my toolbox. Um, but I'm gonna kind of prepare for it by hanging the Hot Wheels a little bit higher so that we can have the toolbox come in right here and not have any of the Hot Wheels box. So we get the rest of these hung up. I don't know if any of you guys care about Hot Wheels, but I just think it's a cool, fun little thing to collect uh, as a car enthusiast um, to have all these different, um, and I don't really collect any like the toy ones. I always tend to go towards the actual models. So let's get the rest of them hung up. And that's the whole collection hung up. I think it looks so cool. And this is why I like collecting them because I don't know, I think they're cool to have in the garage, fun to look at, cool to collect. I, like I said, I don't collect any like the toy ones, like the made up cars. I just like to do real cars. And my favorite are the premium ones, but those are expensive. Um, but then again, you can find some pretty sick dollar ones. This is probably my favorite dollar one right here. The paint on this McLaren P1 is so cool. And we have 86 Trueno and my oddball out, my Matchbox Mark V GTI that my dad got me. Love that one. And then Liberty Walk Silhouette GTR. Yeah, don't want to go over all of them. All this Quattro sport up here is sick. I don't know, still trying to decide fitment. Um, I might end up changing to horizontal. I'm sorry, I just got thumbtacks in it right now. But I'll kind of sit on that for a little bit. I think it's sick though. My camera's about to die. I'm not sure how much footage I got. I got the garage all cleaned up and ready. Pretty much prepared. The only thing, the only thing out right now is pretty much spare parts. Uh, lights all set up. I'm super hyped to start working on the wide body, which I'm gonna do tomorrow, which is when this video is dropping. So expect that later this week. The first wide body video we're gonna be installing the new front fenders. I know I've been hearing you guys, Thomas Wise and Cardon, why you started the wide body, yada 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 yada. You know, sometimes you just lose motivation for stuff and uh, other things get in the way, like moving out, moving into your own. Is that moose? I think I'm breaking into his house. Oh, look at you, big tough guy. Oh yeah, look at you, big tough guy. Ready to protect the house from intruders. Cute boy. All right, I gotta get out of here, Moose. You gotta let me end the video. Okay, I totally lost my train of thought after Moose thought I was an intruder. <laughs> Talking about the garage. But yeah, I think what I was saying was just, you know, sometimes life gets in the way and you're not able to do it and other people are gonna be like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Just, I just wanted to work on it in my own time and I feel super amped and super hyped, which I haven't felt in a long time to start working on this car again. So now that I'm in my own place, things are settling down. I'm ready to <laughs> dump my life into working on this every night after work. I think a lot of that motivation came from getting out into my own space um, and doing, you know, silly stuff like hanging up a banner or hanging up my entire Hot Wheels collection. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video, just kind of doing stuff around the garage, getting it all set up for the wide body install. Super hyped with how the lights turned out. Uh, if you made it this far on the video, comment down below Hot Wheels. That's gonna do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.